sure you've all wondered what's going to happen to you when you come to finally leave your physical body. The following is a video clip of an interview with Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, one of the early researchers into the near-death experience, or NDE. It has a lot to say about this moment of transition that takes place when we finally come to leave the physical body. It is taken from a longer length video called Visions of Hope. The interviewer on this video is Tony Adams. Psychiatrist Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, internationally known for her pioneering work on death and dying, has heard the first-hand accounts of many of her patients and has herself had a near-death experience. Well, I've collected near-death experiences for many, many, many years, long before Moody's book came out and long before it was published in very familiar works like near-death experience or out-of-body experience. And it was beautiful and I knew that this is a reality. But there is a big difference between believing 20,000 cases that you can repeat anywhere if you really want to, and between actually having the experience myself and knowing. And I say jokingly, my experience was more beautiful than all the 20,000 cases I collected. Once you have been in this light and seen this light and experienced this light at the end of the tunnel, symbolically speaking, it's such peace and such love that when you come back, it changes all your values, it changes the quality of your life, and they can hang you on your toenails and you still know. But death does not really exist. It's just a transformation into a different form of life. You have an orthodox scientific background, despite what has happened to you since. How do you reconcile that scientific aspect of you with something like the near-death experience? It's no conflict at all because I'm, I'm very skeptical, a square, straight, swift. And all the experiences I had, I could not uh, really comprehend how to put that in a scientific package. So what I did, very simple, is I tried to verify every aspect of it. Like we are whole again when we leave our physical body. How can we be whole? My Vietnam veterans have had three extremities amputated. How can they have all their extremities? Why isn't this a projection of wishful thinking? See, I'm also a psychiatrist, so I always have a psychiatric excuse or explanation for it. So to verify it, I took blind people. A blind people with very critical uh, criteria. They had to be blind for 10 years or more without light perception. I mean, really scientific. Very difficult to find cases, but I found a few cases of totally blind people who had a near-death experience. And I asked them what they saw at the moment of this near-death experience. They were able to tell me that you wear a, a black and white plate, or I don't know what you call that, jacket, and the red uh, sweatshirt and the white blouse. What kind of frames, eyeglasses you have, what kind of thing I have. Blind people can't do that. I know this is not possible. And my scientific colleagues say, oh, this is oxygen deprivation. And you know what I to that. You can every step of their experiences, you can verify. If you are open and want to. See, my, I, my belief is that we are not here to convince other people. I share what I know and how I verify it to my satisfaction. And those who can hear will hear, and those who do not hear, they will just be pleasantly surprised when they make their own consciousness. <laughs> volume of research on the NDE seems to indicate that for those who've been close to it, death no longer holds any fear. For most, it's come to mean merely change. Like the four seasons, change through the cycles of creation, change and continuity. As autumn holds the promise of rebirth in the spring, for those who have this experience, bodily death holds a similar promise. 
Universally, these glimpses seem to confirm man's greatest hope, that death is merely the shedding of the physical body, to allow the essential self to continue towards some other reality. By all accounts, a reality that is safe and loving, even though not quite within our comprehension. Personal accounts of the MDE seem to reach beyond the world of dreams and imagination. None of these people went looking for this experience. It came to each of them as a complete surprise. But in every case, it was transformative, giving the person a wider vision of humanity, of life as well as death. If you would like to have details of the full video, please contact the Spirit Release Forum www.spiritrelease.org That's www.spiritrelease.org